Greetings, fencers. The next verses are about the Scheidelhau, meaning scalp or parting cut. It is probably the most basic cut out of the five. It is also one of my most used onset cuts. It can counter other high cuts, but has a smaller margin of error, making it less efficient than the other four. It's primarily used against defensive opponents, or when you clearly have the before. The first verse is... So the scalper is a cut with the hands held high in order to maximize range and aim directly at the head. Because the hands aren't in another opening, the whole lower body is exposed. But is it? If someone is in a low position and tries to thrust the torso, they have killed themselves. You can't rotate a sword in someone to block either. The sword would go through the body getting stuck. It would not lead to instant disabling and they would either cut or pommel you, likely leading to two deaths. The same goes for the guard Fontag. There are times you can get away with it, but it relies on them doing something wrong, not you doing something right. In order to take the before safely against these high oppositions, you need to counter with blade contact. But because its preferred use is against low positions, the person has to do a large arm movement and there is usually not enough time to make a cut, and if they're faced with their own mortality, a person will try to get a strong parry. You may be able to beat the parry, or if they do parry, there is a chance you will hit over the sword. I personally never aim to bring my hands above my head, but it sometimes just happens from impact. If someone does manage to parry it and you're far enough, you can still use the point, then hang it down into the face, neck, or chest. If you choose wrong and are too close, you can still strike to the back of the head, but it will often turn out to be more of a harassing or tag hit, and not disabling, meaning it should be followed by something else. We get a small look into what I believe is one of the most common parries in medieval swordsmanship. Throughout the Zettel there are many counters to the crown guard, but here Lichnauer says when it can be used in an effective context. The crown guard uses the strongest part of the sword to parry, and based on how often it appears it is likely a very common reaction in fencers of the period. It can be used to run in and enter to close range quite easily, but it doesn't threaten or keep distance. I teach my students to never bring it above the shoulders unless you've closed in order to prevent counters shown throughout the place and the ones following. When someone brings the hands up and they're past your point, let their hands go up and slice on their hands. Either push their hands over the head or turn from an under to over slice. One of the manuscripts has another play written for if your point has not passed them and they've gone high. It is the same as the Tornhau play, thrust under the arms. One of the manuscripts also adds the verse. I praise the Scheidelhau if he does not come too silently. This also reinforces that it is a cut that is best used when someone knows you're taking the before. Using it from other guards or making it look like a lower cut with deception is more likely to result in double hits. Overall, the Scalper is a cut for offensive fighters who can be confident that their opponent is taking the after. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. This is uh, Thunder Bay Guardians reporting here, full on visit. Oh, pant leg came up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that.